Good evening, friends. I'd like to welcome you all to the first part of the Technical Club's briefing. My name is Rohit Chari, and together with the orientation team, we will be taking you on a journey today to explore the Technical Clubs of NIT Trichy and the array of career opportunities and growth that they have to offer. Being a club member can help you discover new passions, develop your skills, and will truly help you in the long run thanks to all the wonderful friends and experiences you'll be sharing. So without any further ado, let's start the briefing with the first technical club for the day, the Builders Hive, which is the Civil Engineering Research and Development Club of NIT Trichy. Congratulations on making it to the National Institute of Technology, Tirchirapalli. I, on behalf of Builders Hive, welcome you all to this West Asia University. Builders Hive, where necessity meets innovation. Builder Saib is the civil engineering R&D club of NID Trichy. Established in the year 2012, it was known as a social innovation and engineering club of NID Trichy. Builder Saib continues to focus on various specializations of civil engineering. In a nutshell, we provide learning opportunities to the budding civil engineers and enable them to pursue their interests across various civil engineering disciplines. Inside the club, we work in three different domains. Structural, construction, environmental, and other fields like geotechnical, surveying, and transportation. Apart from doing projects in these particular fields, we also conduct workshops, events, competitions, and go on industrial visits, and also visit a few projects to gain first-hand experience. Apart from the projects, on-field activities, and on-campus events, we also participate in various off-campus competitions. As a part of our work for this academic year 2020-2021, we are working on a few projects and we will be taking up a few more in the upcoming semester. We are planning to participate in on-campus and off-campus competitions and hardware hackathons. We are also trying to equip the students of the club with software knowledge of softwares related to civil engineering. We have already successfully conducted a competition inquisitive and we are planning to conduct a few more in the upcoming semester. We are in the process of collaborating with a company so that we can have practical knowledge and experience by working alongside in a few projects. We did try to put forward a few of our projects. Scrap Shack, Mr. Trash Wheel 2.0, Tribal Green Filter, Turbish, Sustainable Tent, Exoskeleton, and Lit Sensor are few of the various projects we have taken up. Mr. Trash Wheel 2.0 It is a conveyable mechanism coupled with a plant island to reduce pollution by removing the floating debris on water bodies. It is an innovative idea delivered by Team Builder Sahib. Tribo Green Filter an effective model to control the emissions of particulate matter into the environment through the exhaust of vehicles. We take pride to tell that this project of the Builder's Hive is displayed at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. We have organized various events and competitions along the past few years. Hold the Load, Inquisitive, CAD workshops are a few among them. For further information regarding our work, please look into our Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn handles. Do follow for regular updates. We are currently a team of 32 civil engineering students who enjoy our time working for the club. We really wish to see you guys at inductions. That was Builders Hive. Next up, we have Data Byte the Data Science and Machine Learning Club of NIT Trichy.
that was data byte next up we have dc which stands for designers consortium which is the official product designing club of nit trichy What is your rationale for choosing engineering to innovate new things to come up with engineering solutions to various problems that's exactly what we do in dc hey guys first of all a very hearty congratulations to each and every one of you for making it to nid trichy we are designers consortium a group of aspiring enthusiasts with a perpetual thrust for innovation we hail from different engineering backgrounds we started our journey in 2015 as a 14 member team and have passionately advanced to become the official product designing club of nid trichy since inception we have worked on numerous problem statements from various fields and have provided cost effective solutions in a meticulous manner with the 42 student member team we have worked on 45 plus technical projects received 35 plus prizes and recognitions and have also incubated and implemented projects in the past 5 years so what is it that we do here we basically take up societal and industrial problems and ideate for a solution we then design the cad model work on the circuits analysis then we analyze the solution for failures through various simulation tools and finally we fabricate the prototype so in this process we use various engineering tools and softwares like solidworks ansys matlab and so on which generally you may not be able to learn otherwise in your regular academics so our expertise lies in the domain of research and development mechatronics automation ergonomics cad modeling thermal and structural analysis and prototyping we have done many technical projects providing solutions to problems in various fields including energy environment healthcare agriculture industrial waste management transportation disaster management and defense DC is not only given this reasons to explore their engineering skills it is also given this reasons to celebrate yes our projects have been recognized by prestigious institutions including IIT Madras IIT Bombay VIT Bangalore Maruti Suzuki Colors of Youth Young Indians and so on most importantly if you get to go to the streets of Trichy look out for the truck mountable street vacuum cleaner designed by DC which has been put to use in the streets of Trichy cheap by the trichy corporation that we have also given hardware solutions to a lot of problems inside the campus and we've also responded to this pandemic with our technical solutions the club lets us learn engineering practically rather than doing it theoretically which helps us strengthen our academic concepts the exposure from the club will also be very useful during placements so if you are someone into research and development and if you have thirst for innovation then dc is the perfect place for you to know more about us check out our website www.dcnit.org and also follow us on instagram and facebook now do you think that's all we do in dc <laughs> So that was DC. Next up we have Delta Force 
the Programming and Cloning Club of NITT. Firstly, a huge shout out to all of you for making it to NIT to achieve. Three years ago, little did imagine that one day I'd be on the other side of the table talking to my juniors about Delta Force, the programmer's paradise that I dreamt to be a part of back then. At Delta Force, we're a bunch of computer science enthusiasts who love solving problems and making a difference with our software. But hey, make note. You don't need to be a computer science student to be a computer science enthusiast. In fact, that isn't even a criterion. We are responsible for maintaining the Institute website. We manage web operations involved in all of the FEST, such as Festember, Pragya, NITFEST, and ABEC. We're also very passionate about our personal projects, which stem from members of the club constantly pitching project ideas on which multiple people collaborate to build things ground up. We regularly participate in hackathons like InOut, Ethindia, Google Hackathon, and India Singapore Hackathon, competitive programming contests like ACMICPC, Google Code Jam, and Facebook Hacker Cup, capture the flag contests like NCTF and Microsoft Build the Shield, and open source programs like Google Summer of Code, Mozilla Winter of Security, and a lot more. We've also had members give talks at reputed conferences like PyCon and Processing Community Day. As for what you should be looking out for before our induction process, we frequently conduct workshops like Delta Algo's Bootcamp and Hacker Talks to share what we have learned with a larger audience. We also conduct Delta Winter of Code to introduce people to open source and to mentor them while they work on phenomenal projects. So with all this, you might be wondering, as an individual, what do I even gain by joining this club? Firstly, a highly motivated peer group of tech enthusiasts. We have a separate room to work in where we have 24 seven access to high speed LAN. Members have access to a 24 core server. On... They are free to experiment, do whatever they like. We have a strongly connected alumni network with one set placed at tech joins like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon, and another set pursuing their highest studies at top universities like Carnegie Mellon, Stanford, Cornell, UC Davis, UC San Diego, et cetera. It's a long list. And to sum it up, you name a top company or university, and you will definitely find a Delta alumnus who is currently there or was there at some point. So the most important, we have a flat hierarchy where there is no concept of a head or a president or a vice president, because we believe that an age uh, is no bar to learning or contributing to the functioning of a club. All, all the activities within the club are transparent to all. Everyone is equally accountable for all the projects and decisions taken by the club rather than any individual. For more of our work, you can check out delta.nitt.edu. Hey guys, I'm Tejas from Third Year Mechanical. I've been a part of Delta for the past year and a half, and I hadn't done much scoring before Delta inductions. And I thought a non secular guy like me didn't have a chance at competing against all those CS people. I was very wrong. The induction process was more about learning than just selecting new people for the club. And it's definitely not about competing against other people. Even though I felt overwhelmed by the induction task at first, I got a lot of help from my incredible mentors and through a lot of self-learning through the resources provided by Delta, I was able to learn about a lot about web dev and app development that summer. And I finally managed to get into the club as an app developer. And since then, my journey at Delta has been nothing short of incredible. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of learning, a lot of projects, and I had an incredible peer group. I worked with a lot of cool technologies, a lot of cool frameworks, and built a lot of cool projects, which I thought wouldn't have been possible a few months back. Being a part of Delta has been the highlight of my college life. Looking back, some of the best memories I have in college are in the Delta room, where I was working on projects with my seniors and batchmates all night long. 
I participated in a lot of hackathons with my fellow Delta members, and we had a wonderful time. I secured internships in my second and third year, which for me personally wouldn't have been possible without the support and guidance of my seniors and my batchmates. I'm really privileged and lucky to be a part of this team. I'm looking forward to meeting and interacting with you all in the upcoming weeks and months. Happy coding. Hi guys, I'm Bhavish Mandan, currently a third year undergrad student from the Department of Instrumentation and Control Engineering. I was inducted into Delta as a system administrator. To be very honest, Delta has just been the places for me to grow and to work over my skill set. And that even helped me to secure an internship in one of the top tier MSCs in the beginning of my third year itself. We literally work over every kind of project here in Delta and new ideas are always welcome. Delta has just provided me the kind of environment I need to learn how to balance between academics and club activities. And I speak as a non-CSE guy where these two things can be quite different ways to follow along. Uh, being with like-minded people, I was always encouraged to share new ideas and that helped me to constantly learn new stuff. I have participated in multiple hackathons and software competitions along with these amazing people. And it's not just work, we even have work and uh, things like trips and tours. Being among people who share same skills and same goals as you do can be one of the most enriching experiences in itself. And that's what we're here to offer to you too. Hey everyone, I am Ishani. I'm a final year student of computer science and a member of Delta Force. So when I was in the first year, like you all, I was pretty intimidated by everything happening in college, especially because most of my batchmates had read computer science already in school, while I just read IP, which is very don't uh, yet. I applied to these summer inductions. I got some very helpful mentors. One was from civil, the other was from ICE. And when I came to Delta, the first thing that really hit me was the awesome peer group. So everyone here just loves the things that they do. And they are super friendly and approachable. And you learn new things every day, be it from your seniors or your batchmates or even your juniors. So that sort of pushes you also to, you know, go out and learn new things every day. And everything, be it coding or computer science or software development, I've learned thanks to this club. And even the alumni network of this uh, club is pretty good. Uh, so when I was in the second year of college, I came to know from an alumni of the club that there's an internship for second year students in Google, and I applied for it. And that's how I interned as a step intern in Google last year. Then I interned as a sweet intern in Google this year. And I'm going to join Google as a full-time software developer in the coming year. So yeah, it's been a pretty crazy ride for me. The club has given me some of my closest friends. And even now sitting back at home, what we really miss is just chilling in the Delta room or going for two trips in a year. So yeah, all I would tell you guys is to not be intimidated by things happening at college, but do try out different things irrespective of your department uh, and give your best in what you really like. And I hope to see you guys at the induction briefing and hopefully in the club soon. So that was Delta Force. Next up, we have Nakshatra, the Science and Astronomy Club of NIT Trichy. Countless worlds, numberless moments, an immensity of space and time. And our small planet, at this moment, here we face a critical branch point in history. What we do with our world right now will propagate down through the centuries and powerfully affect the destiny of our descendants. It is well within our power to destroy our civilization and perhaps our species as well. If we capitulate to superstition or greed or stupidity, we can plunge our world into a darkness deeper than the time between the collapse of classical civilization and the Italian Renaissance. But we are also capable of using our compassion and our intelligence, our technology and our wealth to make an abundant and meaningful life for every inhabitant of this planet, to enhance enormously our understanding of the universe and to carry us 
to the stars. Hello, Precious. Welcome to the orientation briefing of Nakshatra, the Science and Astronomy Club of NIT Trichy. We at Nakshatra are a group of astronomy enthusiasts who are passionate about space and space technologies. At Nakshatra, we conduct regular stargazing sessions at the terrace of Oges in normal times. Apart from that, our yearly activities are filled with workshops, quizzes, guest lectures from eminent professors across the country and even abroad. We also conduct an annual astronomy fest called Stardust in the month of February. As Carl Sagan said in the beginning of the video, that as generation, we have the tools to study universe like never before. We have technology that can look deep into the cosmos and study them. So it becomes our responsibility that we build a community where we discuss ideas, concepts, and build on them. And Nakshatra is such community. Uh, we are one of the most premier uh, astronomy club in the India. Uh, we have a lot of members that uh, uh, regularly discuss blogs and try to teach everyone and make everyone aware about astronomy. We all are very passionate about astronomy and astrophysics as such. And we are not just limited to 20 or 30 people group of uh, people in the campus. We take ideas from outside. We ask people to contribute to ideas. We have online events. We have online. Uh, we have a lot of social media presence where you can always drop in and check on all the events that we're currently doing. You can always drop us a message if you want to talk about astrophysics like all, or, or do you want to study or learn something new about astronomy. We try to keep up with the current events that are happening around us. So, and we try to inform all the people in the campus if anything new is happening, if a meteor shower is happening, or if an uh, eclipse is going to happen. We conducted a lot of uh, stargazing sessions where we showed solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. And this, this just doesn't... Uh, build ideas, it also builds community around it. People get aware of things happening around them. When we look at cosmos, it's not just a small thing. We are a very small part of the cosmos, but that doesn't mean that we can't study it. And that's what, as Nakshatra, we try our best to find our place in this universe. And if you think uh, you like astronomy or you want to be part of a club where you can discuss old myths and try to compare it with the current day astronomy, then this is the club for you. And anyway, if you want to know anything about uh, Nakshatra or anything, you can text us on our Instagram page or any other social media platforms. And we are very active on uh, all the media platforms. We also have a very good running blog, so you can check that out. And I'll wish you all the best for your future endeavors in NID 3 g Thank you. So friends, that was Nakshatra. Next up, we have PSI Racing, the Motorsport Club of NIT Trichy. Hello everyone. This is Vijay Raghavan, captain of PSI Racing team. PSI Racing is the motorsport team of NIT Trichy. We are a group of 32 automobile enthusiasts from various departments of engineering. As you can see from the image, we design, manufacture, and test a single-seater all-terrain vehicle every year. We participate in Baha SA India, an intercollegiate design competition conducted by Society of Automotive Engineers in India at Natrax Test Facility in Indore. We also participate in competitions like Enduro Student India, ATVC, and some more off-road racing events. Within the team, we divide ourselves into subsystems like chassis, brakes, powertrain, suspension steering, and data acquisition team. Talking about the competition, Baha SA India is an intercollegiate design competition which happens in the month of January for four days. It is held at National Automotive Test Tracks in Indore. The competition consists of static and dynamic events. The static events include design presentation, cost presentation, and sales event. The dynamic events include suspension traction, rock crawl, maneuverability, acceleration, and endurance race. The endurance race is the most exciting event of Baha SA India 2020, where 
The ATV has to survive a treacherous track made up of steep bumps, grooves, rock crawls, mud bowls, and hill climbs for a duration of four hours. In Baha India 2020, we finished fifth overall out of 120 teams in India. In Endira Student India, we finished fourth overall. Work life in PSL. We practice what we study. All the components in the ATV are designed solely by the team members. We start our work in the month of February by analyzing our performance in the competitions. We then proceed to the design and FEA of these components. We manufacture the components and assemble them. We test our ATV in a dedicated test track being Jasper Hostel. We meet every day after class hours in the automobile lab to fabricate the ATV and to meet our deadlines. But fear not, PSI is not all about work. We go on trips, have football night outs, and the team members have fun driving around with the ATV in the test trucks. One of the greatest perks of working at PSI is that we get to apply what we study in our engineering to build an ATV. We learn to work in a professional environment, we learn engineering standards, and most importantly, time management. We also get the opportunity to interact with an amazing set of alumni who keep supporting and mentoring us constantly. So this is all about PSA Racing. Hope to meet you soon in campus and all the very best. Thank you. That was PSI Racing. Next up, we have RMI, which stands for Robotics and Machine Intelligence, which is the Robotics and Technical Research Club of NIT Trichy. Good day, everyone. First of all, uh, congratulations on making it to NIT Trichy. I'm Nitish, uh, finally a mechanical engineering student, and I'm the president of the Robotics and Machine Intelligence Club, popularly known as RMI. Um, RMI is the official robotics and technical research club of NIT Trichy, and uh, we are a close-knit group of robotics enthusiasts from all departments of the college that seek the adventure of inducing life into machines. A bit of history here, the club was formed in the year 2005 as a line follower robots club and uh, in a couple of years the members felt the need to venture into related domains and uh, explore the field of robotics as there was a need to bridge the gap between departments and find practical applications that relate mainly. Uh, over the years, the club has grown leaps and bounds in completing many research projects and scaling them up to practically implementable solutions with applications in agriculture, biomedical, military, and service sectors. We primarily focus on projects and competitions in robotics, artificial intelligence, assistive devices, and related fields. So you might ask me, why do you need a club? Uh, a club basically enables a group of interested and like-minded individuals to get access to funds, resources, develop projects, which otherwise would be uh, difficult for an individual to do on his own, right? 
Hence, as a group, the club members can gain practical knowledge in this field by carrying out research projects with advanced uh, problem statements. This in turn creates a wide range of internship opportunities, profile, and gives you a chance to work at esteemed uh, research labs with better resources. By the end of the third year, you can gain a lot of practical and theoretical knowledge, which puts you in a better place when you move on for hires or placements. Being a club that has been started over 10 years ago, we are one of the clubs that have distinguished set of alumni who have excelled in various fields, be it research, startups, or leading roles in MNCs like Apple, NVIDIA, Microsoft. Our seniors have pursued higher studies like MS and PhD in uh, universities like Carnegie Mellon University, Stanford, University of Pennsylvania. And some of them have uh, turned into entrepreneurs and uh, laid the foundation stones for startups like Austin Health in Singapore, Ocular Aerospace in Bangalore, and uh, Bold 3D, which is a popular uh, 3D printer manufacturing company. And the advantage is that we interact with them occasionally and update about our projects every year, and they provide us with technical and sometimes even financial assistance. And they also update and provide us with work opportunities in their companies or elsewhere and uh, resources, technical knowledge, and feedback on our work. So overall, it's an enriching experience to be able to have contact with such testing people. So this brings us to the most important question. How do I get into the club? So for a new college student, we actually don't expect any prior knowledge in robotics from you. Uh, we, act, we conduct uh, workshops, primarily Genesis, which is an introductory robotics uh, workshop and uh, through which we'll teach you the basics of uh, robotics building upon uh, the courses like uh, basics of programming basics of mechanics and electronics which you will be learning in your first year and then we conduct events through which uh, we test the test your basics and your problem solving skills uh, throughout your first year participating in these events will enrich your experience and uh, you can learn a lot more through practical implementation rather than just uh, theoretical teaching and this will also help you in your induction process which we will be conducting at the end of uh, this year for you to be a member of this club. A small disclaimer here though, uh, I hear this question pretty often from various people, uh, robotics is for only circuital branches and I am I'm from metallurgy or production, what am I going to do in robotics? So to answer that, uh, we have people from various departments, including production, metallurgy every year. And uh, it's not only that, robotics also needs implementation from non surgical fields, be it mechanics, material science, and uh, design. So we are open to people from any department. And all we need is an enthusiastic mindset with the dedication and perseverance to pursue robotics. And if you have the drive, we'll provide you with the path. So friends, that was RMI. Now, last but not the least, we have Spider, which is the Research and Development Club of NIT Trichy. great idea that was ever executed starts at a level that many may think is easy, but almost no one will ever actually do it. 
it's not about coming up with great ideas but more about bringing them into existence that is exactly what the people in this club do we believe that ideation and innovation go hand in hand and anybody can do that they just need an environment and the right people around them learning is a continuous process and the way we learn keeps evolving with time the best way is to dive deep into it with an excellent portfolio of completed projects and a lot more in the pipeline numerous achievements in various areas of technology and an ever expanding list of ideas we are spider the research and development club of nit trichy idea innovate Hey everyone, I'll be talking about the Algos domain of Spider. At Algos, we are a bunch of individuals united by our passion towards problem solving. In light of this, we regularly participate and conduct contests, organize workshops and seminars, and have internal knowledge sharing sessions where we share ideas covering different topics. Members of our domain also take up projects in other fields like machine learning and web development. We also collaborate with other institutes for shared synergies in the field of competitive programming. I'll highlight a few of our achievements briefly. Over the years, our teams have consistently qualified for the ACM ICTC. In the previous edition, for example, our team secured a top 30 rank at the Pune Gwalior Regionals. We also regularly participate in contests online, specifically on Code Forces and Code Chef, securing top ranks. Hello, everyone. So uh, I'll talk to you about the app development profile of Spider. and i'll start with the question of who are we so basically we are just a bunch of people who share a common interest to develop apps that have the power of leveraging our passion for creativity design and coding together into one beautiful product for the world to use and appreciate so then we will move on to the question of what do we do so yeah obviously we develop apps but then these apps are just a way in which user interact with all the different uh, technologies that we put into our apps like natural language processing image recognition blockchain ar and much more then uh, we also conduct workshops for first years and then we attend a lot of hackathons we love to make new products and research on the existing ones to make them better we also take part in a lot of hackathons as you mentioned and we obviously win a lot of them so uh, just last year the latest edition was the SIH 2020 uh that we won so yeah that's the spider app the profile for you we are a team of 37 motivated undergrad students working on various research projects in the tronics division of spider we mainly work on the domains of embedded systems electronics internet of things robotics and simulation control systems solid modeling computer vision and artificial intelligence in addition to the r&d projects we also conduct mucon a workshop held every year exclusively for the freshmen of nit trichy this workshop provides the students with a head start on microcontrollers and embedded programming in the first semester itself we also organize cre8 a competitive event for the first year students to kindle the spirit of innovation our research projects are completely funded by our college administration The Spider Lab is located in the old Students Activity Center, which is fully equipped to meet our needs for working on a research project, from providing space to conduct brainstorming session with fellow Spiders to fabrication facilities like 3D printer, power tools, and so on. We publish papers in various national and international conferences every year, and we hope to continue this mantle by inducting like-minded people who are interested in research. Our projects and conference publications will make you stand out in the crowd, be it for internships. placements or for higher studies all we expect from a potential inductee is a curious mind and a burning passion towards the domain while having prior knowledge about the field would earn you brownie points it is not necessary to know much about the domain beforehand as we would teach you the necessities during the workshops and in the induction process to know more about our projects 
head over to our website using the QR code in slide and check out our GitHub organization. Hello, I'm Praveen, Head of Spider Web Dev, and I'll be talking about the web dev profile. Development is the art of expression. As Nitin pointed out, development is a means through which we express ideas pertaining to whatever we think, basically, and also with respect to you know state of the art technology, such as ML, blockchain, etc. We are the web dev people who do all things web. Even though we primarily specialize in web, we have our own ideas relating to NLP, uh, blockchain, etc. that we implement. So what do we do? We take care of admin projects. The, the uh, most active one right now is the document revision portal, uh, hostel, OD, that you can use once you come to campus. We also have to take part in hackathons. We take part in national hackathons, uh, such as in out SAH. We won SAH last year. And then one, one initiative that, recent, that we are recently working on is the artificial number plate recognition system that, it, that can help ease the transition coming back to the campus. Right. And also, we also take care of implementing the uh, game decoder. It's a game that comes as part of the Pregian test. And, and a place where research and development complement each other is building a prototype you know, for a paper. So we help build that as well. Other activities. So we believe that we uh, uh, the whole development is the way to go, apart from just doing web alone. So we do everything else as well. Right. And, and we conduct workshops and uh, hands on sessions, which are called knowledge sessions. We fund them annually. Uh, we'll connect them for you guys as well in the coming days. And then we release a series called Web Wednesday, in which we post a medium article relating to whatever tech we like every week. So you can go check it out. It's in medium forms as per an EDT. So, friends, that brings us to the end of the first part of the technical club briefings. Join us tomorrow at the same time for the second part of the technical club briefings, consisting of several similar insights and opportunities about all the clubs that are in NITT. If you still have any unanswered queries or doubts regarding the clubs that presented today, you can always reach out to the clubs through their Instagram pages, and the links for those can be found in the comment section below. On behalf of the orientation team, I would like to thank you all for attending today's briefing. I would also like to thank the respective clubs for sending in their fantastic presentations. We hope you all enjoyed it. Take care and see you all tomorrow.